The conflict has already claimed the lives of more than 2,000 people in Gaza and 67 in Israel. Those numbers are expected to rise following another day of fighting. CCTV's Mahal Bardavid is live in Tel Aviv. And Mahal, what can you tell us? Elaine, Hamas certainly took a very hard hit today as three of their leaders, as you mentioned, were killed. This was Mohammed Abu Shamala, Raed Al Attar, and Mohammed Barhum have all been killed. These leaders have led operations against Israel during the last 20 years, so they were quite significant leaders for Hamas. Um, thousands of Palestinians attended their, the funerals that took place. Um, Yes, they were firing weapons into the air. They called for revenge. There was a lot of fury during the funeral in um, Gaza today. At least 22 Palestinians were reported to have been killed during the airstrikes in Gaza as well. Um, when we take a look at the situation in Israel, at least 55 rockets were fired into Israel, specifically to southern cities. Um, rocket sirens were heard throughout the day. The Iron Dome intercepted many of the uh, rockets that were fired into Israel. However, some of them did land into open fields, um, wounding some people as well as damaging some of the buildings there. Hamas also said that it had targeted Ben Gurion Airport today. Um, however, there were no reports that any of the rockets that were targeting Ben Gurion actually reached the airport. One other significant development today was that Salah Aruri, who was also a Hamas leader, during a conference in Istanbul stated that Hamas was in fact behind the kidnapping of the three Israeli teenagers that were later murdered and found dead. Um, they had initially denied that Hamas was behind these killings. However, now Salah Aruri has said that Hamas was in fact behind them. Mihal, have there been any statements at all from either side? Yes, there have been statements from both sides. Elaine, uh, Khalid Mashal, who is uh, expected to meet with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in Cairo tomorrow, gave an interview to Turkish news agency, Anatolian news agency, and he said that the fighting would continue until Israel met all of their demands. Um, another statement was made by Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu. He said uh, he praised Shin Bet, who is the security service of Israel, for their hard work and their professionalism, referring specifically to the three Hamas leaders that were killed on Thursday. Um, another important statement was made by the Defense Minister of Israel. He, um, he said that the operation would be a long one, and he said that the goal was for Israel to come back to security and for quiet to be in Israel. Elaine? All right, CCTV's Mahal Bardavid reporting live from Tel Aviv.